Hello, welcome to the Indie Ocean. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this video. It's not going to be a this is video in my usual sense of sort of a, a miniature review type thing. Um, it's not really going to be a let's play either because the game's so damn short, but that's exactly the problem, I suppose. Um, but it's just going to be a here look at this game that I've played kind of video. Um, this is Midsummer RL. Um, which is inspired by the Midsummer Murders TV series here in the UK. Um, this was a seven-day roguelike, hence the mentions of 7DRL all over it, which uh, is a, a project to make a roguelike in seven days. Runs every year, as far as I'm aware. Um, this is a roguelike, sort of, but in many ways it isn't. Um, and you'll see what I mean as we get into it, but basically... I'm a bit of a sucker for games that try something a little different. And this does. Whether it succeeds, I'll leave up to you to determine. I know what my opinion is. Alright, so first things first. Yes, this is the title screen. Very flash. Um, you can choose your detective sergeant from three characters, presumably from the TV series. I'm not a big fan, so I don't know. Um, it doesn't make any difference to gameplay, though. They just follow you around. So let's go with... Um, I don't know. Let's go with Ben Jones. So I'll press C to select Ben Jones. There we go. Lagged a little for some reason. Okay, and um, controls are at the bottom there. Use the number pad to move around. And you'll notice that, like a traditional roguelike, this is ASCII-based. So we're this sort of light blue slash turquoise at symbol. The J there is our sergeant who's following us around. Um... And this S is a swan. <laughs> we can do all sorts of things. Well, no, we can't really. We can kill it, basically. The other controls are A and a direction to attack, T and a direction to talk to other characters, E to enter things, um, S and a direction to seize someone, which is basically how you arrest them, and M to finish your investigation once you think you've done. You'll notice that in the event log immediately below our... Uh, main field of view there. It says, Paul Evans has been slain. That's the victim. Different person every time. The layout of the town is different each time. Um, and the killer is different as well. So in that sense, it is kind of a roguelike. But it's basically a murder mystery. And that's what intrigued me. Here's the entrance to this house. So let's open the door. Step on the door and then E to enter. Whose house is this? Um, I presume it's this person's house. You bump into Michael Johnson. All right, so it's not um, Paul Evans' house. Really, we need to find Paul Evans' house. Since he's the victim, I think that's where we should start. Um, but actually, it says at the top there, when you stand on the door, the Wilson's house. So that's not the one either. Let's try here. The Williams's house. No. Okay. What about this one? the Watson's house. And we can um, question various of these people, but I want to go and talk to um, whoever was at the scene of the murder, if anyone, before we do all of that. The Green's house. And of course, Paul Evans is going to be the last house we go to. Ugh. All right. Evans. There we go. All right, so there is the body of Paul Evans. Um... You can see in the top right, well, I say top right, it's actually just left of the centre of the screen, thanks to the enormous black space on the right for no reason. Um, it lists me, my sergeant, Robert Evans, Joan Evans and Paul Evans. Robert and Joan will be the other inhabitants of this house, and obviously Paul Evans is dead. Um, ah, there's a person. Where did you come from? Materialised out of thin air. Let's talk. I saw Dorothy Green walking around near Paul Evans's house last night. Okay, so there's a clue. Go and talk to Dorothy Green. Might be nothing, but it's worth investigating. Um, I know we did see a house of a family called Green. Was it this one? No, that's white. It's all getting a bit Cluedo here. Green's house. There we go. And Cluedo, incidentally, for you Americans, is what the game you know as Clue was called here. 
Anyway, let's talk to this person. I saw Ethel Williams walking around near Joan Evans' house last night. Okay. What about you? What did you see? Hey, don't run away from me. I saw Joan Wilson walking around near Michael Johnson's house. Well, I didn't really care about Michael Johnson. I might if he'd been implicated, but no one's implicated him so far. So the best lead, really... It, I mean, this person could be lying. That's Paul Green. But Dorothy is the one who was seen near the near the uh, victim's house. And she doesn't seem to be saying anything particularly relevant, I guess. So who else have we been tipped off about? Ethel Williams. All right. Let's go and try to find Ethel Williams. I know we passed the Williams house before. Where was it? That's the Nettles' house. Yeah, that's not who I'm looking for at all. All right. Watson's no. Um, are you round here? Wilson's. There we go. Ethel, you in here? Are you Ethel? No, you might be Joan. Oh, sorry, Ethel Williams. Ugh. Not Wilson. Williams. Right, is it this house? Could be. Shall we just kill this swan? Why the hell not? Attack. The swan! The swan has been slain. <laughs> you punch the swan. Yeah. Detective Barnaby is just the most badass. He kills swans with his bare hands. Just for a laugh. Alright. So where's the um, Williams house then? I seem to have misplaced it. Thomas's house. No. Evans's house. No! Where the hell is the Williams house? White's house. And this is pretty representative of the experience of playing Midsummer RL. Um, I like the idea um, a procedurally generated murder mystery. It works for me. I found that really intriguing. And even though, of course, it's had to be done in a relatively basic fashion, um, I still think it's a good idea. The problems are a couple of fold. Um, one is that it's too basic. You just talk to people who point the finger at each other and then when you think you've got some kind of gut feeling as to which one actually did it, you go and try to arrest them. Uh, and then you quit the game. And it'll tell you whether you were right or wrong. Um, but because the testimony of other people is the only form of evidence, you've basically just got to go on whether you think people are lying or not. And you don't have much evidence upon which to form that opinion. The other thing is that it's very repetitive. I mean, when, when you've done that once, once you've worked out how to play it, there isn't a lot of um, a lot of appeal to playing it again. And a lot of your playtime will be spent doing this. Walking around in circles, trying to work out which building is the building you're looking for. So, I like the idea, the basic concept procedurally generated murder mystery even done with ASCII graphics like this it could have been a lot of fun um, and don't get me wrong for something done in seven days in someone's spare time I can't criticise too heavily but I also can't actually recommend playing it maybe play it once for the experience but it's not really worth revisiting fortunately it's completely free um, it is browser based so I suppose if you've got 10 minutes to kill and nothing else to do, you could pop open your browser at work or wherever in your lunch break and have a go at that. Is this the one? Yes. Ugh, I kept walking right past it. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, I, I can't really powerfully recommend it. Okay, Ethel Williams actually isn't here, so I can't even question her. Get out of the way, you. Move. Move. Okay, there we go. All right, well, in the absence of any other handy suspects, I'm going to go and get, um, what's her name, Dorothy Green, the first person who was mentioned as skulking around the victim's house. Let's do it. Why the hell not? I'll arrest her. I could, of course, attack and kill her. Um, it doesn't seem to make a huge amount of difference, in all honesty. But let's um, let's arrest her with S to seize her. Oh, she moved. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. Okay, so now we can end, I guess. End investigation. M.
Are you sure you want to end it? Yes. All right, you arrested... You slew the swan. Wait, I didn't arrest anyone. It, he actually said he was arresting it. Ugh. So there's a fun glitch for you to enjoy as well. Another point in this game's favour. Anyway, this has been Midsummer RL. Sort of a roguelike version of the Midsummer Murders. Extremely simple. And quite unrefined. And with odd glitches, as you can see. Um, worth having a look at as a curiosity. And fair play to the creator for creating an entirely new game that's not just a mimicry of an existing roguelike in seven days in his or her spare time around whatever their other commitments are. So, you know, credit for that. Um, have a look at it out of curiosity, but I can't really recommend sinking much time into it. Anyway, um, that was Midsummer RL. So uh, thanks for watching, as usual. Rejoin me the next time as I do more game-related things. Bye for now.